Sketch the level curve of the function f of x comma y equals xy for c equals 5. Recall each level curve is a 2D graph of the intersection of the surface given by f of x comma y and a plane z equals c. To determine a level curve, we set f of x comma y equal to c. Before we do this, let's look at this graphically. Here we see the graph of the surface given by f of x comma y equals xy. And now let's graph a plane z equals c where c is any constant. Here's the graph of z equals negative 4. The intersection of the plane and the surface represent a level curve for the function. If you look down on the xy plane, notice the intersection appears to be a hyperbola. And now let's animate the plane. All these intersections represent level curves for the given function. We were told to let c equal 5, so if we graph the plane z equals 5, which is here, the intersection of the plane and the surface represents a level curve we're trying to find. Now let's look at a contour map for the given function, which is a set of level curves for the surface. Here's one possible contour map for the given surface. We can find as many level curves as we wish by changing the value of c. And now let's look at the level curves on the actual surface. We can find as many level curves as we wish by selecting different values for the constant c. And now going back to our question, we're asked to find the level curve of the function for c equals 5. To do this, we said f of x comma y equals xy to 5, which gives us the equation xy equals 5, which is a rotated hyperbola. But to graph this on the coordinate plane, let's go ahead and solve for y by dividing both sides by x. Simplifying, we have y equals 5 divided by x, which we should recognize as a rational function. So now we'll graph the level curve as this rational function. Notice the function is undefined when x is 0. x equals 0 represents a vertical asymptote of the function. Let's graph this in red. Also notice, as x increases or decreases without bound, or approaches positive or negative infinity, y approaches 0, indicating y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote of the rational function. And now let's find some key points on the graph. To do this, let's use a table of values. Let's start with x equals 1, negative 1, 5, negative 5. Notice when x is 1, y is 5. When x is negative 1, y is negative 5. When x is 5, y is 1. And when x is negative 5, y is negative 1. Let's plot these four points. 1, 5, negative 1, negative 5. 5, 1, and negative 5, negative 1. So we know the curve is going to pass through these points and approach the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Let's determine two more points. Because we have 5 divided by x, let's set x equal 2.5 and negative 2.5. When x is 2.5, 5 divided by 2.5 is 2. And when x is negative 2.5, y is negative 2. So 2.5 comma 2 would be here. And negative 2.5 comma negative 2 would be here. And now we have enough points to make a nice accurate graph of the level curve. Again, the curve will pass through the points and approach the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So notice we have one piece in quadrant 1 and another piece in quadrant 3. The graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.